everyone, going to begin here, and it's time for the redo of the worst bonus rounds video. Uh, for those who don't remember, I did it uh, one about a year or two ago. I did pretty decent view-wise. It got, let's see, how much did I get? It got 2,600 views, which is decent, but it was about 40 minutes. So, I wanted to remake that, but instead of just doing, like, one from each show, I wanted to do, like, almost all of the terrible runs. So, each game show, I'm going to go over what they are, and we're going to go in chronological order, starting with Double Dare. So, for Double Dare, we have... Five items on the list. We have the episode where they got one, which is the digital jitters uh, bullshit with the picket. And then we have a bunch of times they got two, which are Beamer Torch Navigators, as you can tell, it's crap quality. Um, the 1990 family episode Crusaders, or Sluggers. Uh, the, high, uh, the Slime Stoppers from Family 92, and there's even a reboot. Where someone got to. Uh, if that's not in the video, I'll put a link to my drive where I'll be uploading because that will probably be blocked by Viacom. And considering my strike is expired for another month, yeah. Anyway, let's get to the fails. Okay, who's going to go through the ringer? All right, go on back there. Okay, and you get yourself in position. Don't forget, leap through as quickly as you can. Remember, grab the flag after you go down the slide. You let go of the crank once she's all the way through. Come down, grab it. You get to go through the slime. We're all set. Audience, cheer them on. They're terrific. On your mark. Get set. Go! Okay, and she's through the ringer. Grab the flag. All right, you come over here to the Sunday slide. Get the flag. Get the flag. Pass it on. Okay, you get it over here. You go up the slide as quickly as possible. Go up that slide. Over here. Oops, come on. Grab grab up there. Grab up there. Leap for it. Go ahead and get it. You're almost there. Keep going up. Keep pulling yourself up. Try not to get in the chocolate. we got 36 seconds. Hurry up. Keep going up. See if you can leap up towards the top. You've only got 30 seconds left. Come on, use all your strength. You can do it. You can do it, ladies. Come on. 24 seconds. Come on, go for it. You can do it. Yes, it. Keep pushing yourself up. Your green slime partner is over there trying, rooting yourself on. There you go. Keep doing it. Leap a little bit more. You've almost got it. Keep going. Just 10 seconds left. Hurry up. We're getting there. We're getting there. Five, four, three, Come on over here. Come on over here. You really got full of it there. You okay, sweetheart? Okay, take it easy. Come on over here. We've got a little green slime over there. Come on over. Whoa. You all right? You're out of breath, I think, in the situation. We've got slime and we've got... Oh, here we go. We changed cameras over here. Look over here. You did real good. You got two of them. It was a hard one to get up there today. Harvey, tell them what prizes they've won. My Steve, each won the Garfield phone and the Walkman, a prize package worth almost $150 each. All right. You got your own phone. Ever had your own phone before? How about you? All right, listen, we had a great day today. Uh, you won $360. That means you get to uh, share $180 a piece. Go out and buy a lot of things with that. You got some good gifts here. We're always giving away great prizes here on Double Dare. Lots of money. Join us every day. Thanks for being with us today. See you then. Bye-bye. You guys ready for the worst obstacle course ever taped in the history of Double Dare? Also one of the most unluckiest families. Or, er, second, we te sorry, teams. Yep, this is the episode where the team won one prize, where they lost their last 50 seconds on Picket. I don't know why people say this obstacle course is mem- People like this freaking obstacle. I think it's garbage, like the other search obstacles. But this has screwed so many runs. In fact, three of them on this list, including this one, have freaking Picket. Jay, it's almost like they used it to save money. So they wouldn't have to give away any trips or prizes. Let the torture begin. The prize is won. Go to Wendy, they go to Brian, and let's get started. On your mark. Get set, go, Jerry! Run up there and keep going! Don't stop yet because we haven't lit it up 
you can stop now because here it comes. Over to number two, and that is the nose. Get over there and find that flag. Find it quickly. You may be up the other nostril, too. Check both nostrils. That'll help you out because you need to find that flag. You have 44 seconds remaining. It's not as easy as it looks, folks. Let's see if I can help her out. Where is that flag? Look way up there on both sides. We have 36 seconds remaining. Maybe on this side as well. We're spending a lot of time over here. It's up the other side. Oh, go up all the crevices of the nose because we're down to 26 seconds and we want to find it. Yes. Try the other one. Let's see if we can find it on the other side. I don't see any flags just yet. Come on, audience. Cheer her on. Let's hope that she can get a little bit further. Down to about 15 seconds and I know it's in there, but I don't see it just yet. Jerry's waiting very patiently. We're down to just about eight seconds and uh, so far, luck has not been going with his way today. flag so far and uh, Harvey what do they want well they picked up the con air products mark it's a price package worth over $150 there is a flag up there no, and uh, we are down to just about nine seconds ourselves so I will say thank you for being with us here on double there we'll see you tomorrow Jerry Wendy thanks for being here thank you bye bye yeah I've never put the damn flag in the nose audience please cheer them on good luck on your mark get set go any time on that. Over to number two. Where is the flag? They're going to look for it in the small one. And is it in there? No, go to the next one if you want. It's maybe in the upper one, maybe in this one. I'd love you to find it. Reach on up. No, that's not it. Got to go a little bit higher. Maybe it's higher. Could be. You got to look down into it. Look all the way. Don't stop right now. We're wasting lots of time. Try this. There it is. Boy, that took us too much time. Number three is Nickin. I'd love to see if we can get at least to number six. I'd love to win it, but uh, with this much time gone already, it's going to be rather difficult. Reach way up in those nostrils, both sides. Try and find that flag. We're only at obstacle number three. And so far, our basketball players are amazingly clean. We want to get them a little messed up. Come on, audience. Let's really hear it. Cheer them on. They've won $625. No flag just yet. It hasn't come out. And with nine seconds remaining, unless they hurry, it looks like Alice isn't going to get her opportunity today. Oh, no, it didn't happen. Audience, how about a round of applause? They got to number, where are we, three. And Harvey, tell them what they won. Well, Mark, they got the radio-controlled car in the Beverly Hills collection over worth th over $300. $300 plus the $625 they won up front. There is a flag in there. We'll pull it out for you in just a second. But we'd like to say thank you for being with us today on Family Double Air. Hope you had a good time. We always do. See you here on Nickelodeon soon. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. If you thought the one with the digital jitters was bad, um, this is the exact same thing, but they decided, hey, let's give them the third prize out of pity, which... You know, you could have done that for the frickin' last one. On this clock, there is a fabulous audience and some great contestants. Keep your fingers crossed on your mark. Get set. Go! All the way across. Come on, let's go. You can jump off anytime you want, and he chose to do it there. Come on and reach for that flag, and here we go. Off to go number two with 52 seconds remaining. Get under those noses, that nostril, and find the flag. Look on the other side. If you don't see it over there, we need to find it. We want to find it fast. We're down to 43 seconds. Oh, I know it's in there. I know they can find it. Look everywhere. Look at the front. Look at the back. We're only at optical number two, and we're almost halfway done with our time. I'd hate to see him get stuck on optical number two. Where is it? Where is it? Oh, my. Where is it? Look at the front of the nose. We're down to 26 seconds. They're going to have to hustle. They're going to have to hustle. Where is it? We're down to 20 seconds, folks. This would be awful if they got stuck here on obstacle number two. Down to 13 seconds. And I don't see it happening right now today, folks. There is a flag. And they found it. Flag, wow. Stop right there. You know what? You had such a tough time. I'm going to give him obstacle number three. Doc, tell him what they got. Obstacle one, two, and three. Well, they got the bikes, the telescope, and Mark, they got the headphones, too. Getting the headphones. It's tough, isn't it? Yes. All across America, people think, and think that, that the optical course is really easy. It's in there all the time, but you know, you get excited, and you look like you got it on your nose and in your mouth, but did you have a good time? I had a wonderful time. You see, if this happened to me, I would have just said, can I just redo the freaking course? Be honest, honestly, here's the thing with all the clips I've shown. The first one, well, the contestants sucked and they didn't know how to, you know, do the Sunday slide. All the clips after that were all because of search obstacles.
That's just called terrible luck, and that's not the contestant's fault. Uh, next, we're going to do 2018 Double Dare. Uh, if that doesn't appear again, I will just show up. I'll just link to my drive. Go fast. You got this. Eight obstacles, 60 seconds on the clock. Mark is waiting for you guys at the finish line. All right, here we go. On your mark. Get set. Go. Go, go, go. She's running as fast as she can. Redeeming herself. Come on, come on. Uh, so the next game show we have is Finders Keepers. Um, so I was gonna do what I did with Double Dare and do the one, one or two prizes. Then I realized there was four one prizes and thirteen two prizes, so we would have had seventeen. And because I don't want this segment to be like fifty minutes long, we're just gonna do the one prizes. These are also all from season three. So just keep that in mind. Up and downstairs. Remember, in 90 full seconds, six rooms, it starts with this. If you know the answer to this clue, call it in. Find it. 90 seconds starts now. Then we're going right to the toy store. We're going right to the toy store. Come with me. The clue is, hey, everybody, have you heard? Papa's going to buy me a whirly bird. Look all over the place. Think about what is look all over the place. Don't hesitate. Hey, everybody, have you heard? Papa's going to buy me a whirly bird. Think about the clue. Think about the clue. Hey, everybody, have you heard? Papa's going to buy me a whirly bird. You've got one room. You've already won a set of encyclopedias. Find the bird. We're searching for this object and we'll get you East Pack bags. Look all over the place. The toy store is yours. Hey, everybody, have you heard? Papa's going to buy me a whirly bird. Whoa, let me get out of your way. Quick times are going. Who's the bird? Think about the clue. Look all over the place. Hey, everybody, have you heard? Papa's going to buy me a whirly bird. This is for East Pack Bags. You know, doing the same thing 60 times is not going to make us feel better. Ransack the room. Look all over the place. Quick, time is running out. Time is running out. This is a tough one. This one stymied you. Um, whirly bird. You were thinking in terms of bird, tweet, tweet. But a oh, whirly bird a is a helicopter. <laughs> no, it's a helicopter. So for this, it didn't fly for you quite so much. But you did get one room. Tell them what they've won, Harry. The kids have won the Funk and Waggles Encyclopedias. A cash and prize package worth over $1,000. Congratulations. 
Congratulations, guys. Yeah. It begins with this clue. You'll have 90 seconds after I read it and say, don't let this clue make a sucker out of you. Find it. Look all over the place. Look at, yes, and we're going to Dad's Den. He found it. Come on into the den. And the clue is, Dad tried to blot this clue out of his mind. Think about it. Think about what you're looking for. Dad tried to blot this clue out of his mind. Don't be gentle in the room. Don't be gentle in the room. Dad tried to blot this clue out of his mind. Think about your clue. Look all over the place. Remember, you're looking for object clue cards. You already want a set of East Pack bags. Here, you're going for the camping package. Look all over the place. Remember, you're looking for object clue cards. Dad tried to blot this clue out of his mind. Ooh, the garbage can is on the floor. Think about what you're looking for, guys. Whoa, books on the floor. Think about the clue again. Dad tried to block this clue out of his mind. Think about your clue. Dad tried to block this clue out of his mind. Remember what you're looking for. Whoa. It's all right. Keep looking, keep looking, keep looking. Whoa, again. Keep, let me get out of your way. Keep looking. Oh, wow, wow. Time ran out on you guys. Um, ink blot, the blotter there, and it was hidden right oh, in front no. Yes, right in front of your faces. Oh, that, but you guys had a great game. You guys had a great run. Tell them what they've won, Harry. The kids have won the East Pack bags, a prize package worth over $900. Congratulations. Not bad. Not bad. Uh, so in case people were wondering, uh, the first game, they won $725. In $25. The second game, they won $350. No, sorry, $650. This one... They end up winning five fifty, and what sucks is the exact episode after this, where the team won seven hundred, uh, both had a uh, one prize, which sucks. And it starts after I read this clue. Look for this clue in the kettle of stew. Find it. Go ahead, ninety seconds. Ninety seconds. Look for this clue in the kettle of stew. Look for this clue. Kettle of stew. Don't be afraid to get all cookie. Take a look all over the kitchen. Look for this clue in the kettle of stew. Woo! Get out of your way there. Look for this clue in the kettle of stew. You're looking for. You're going here for the Franklin Word Wig. Hey, take a look. Take a look. Look for this clue in the kettle of stew. Listen to the clue, guys. Listen to the clue. Look for this clue in the kettle of stew. Guys, listen to the clue. Listen to the clue. Listen to the clue. Look. Well, find it. Take it out. And yes, we go to the artist room. Come on over here. Woo! I didn't know if they were going to get out of there. This clue will help you brush up. This clue will help you brush up. Look all over the place, guys. You're looking for the clue cards. Here you're going for each pack back. This clue will help you brush up. Get out of your way there. Think about what you're looking for, guys. Woo! Look all over the place, guys. This clue will help you brush up. Quick time's running out. Take a look, take a look, take a look. Don't be shy. Yay! Time is running out on you. Last second, you knocked over the old clue card here, right there. Brush up the old paint. I'm gonna give them the well, point. so you were afraid to get messy in the kitchen, and it cost you a little bit. But you guys had a terrific game. You had a terrific romp. Tell them what they've won, Harry. The kids have won the Franklin Word Wiz. Oh, nice! You get a piece of garbage. Prize package worth over six hundred dollars. Congratulations! Yay! Wow, so it's not only that, you got the Franklin Word Wiz, you won the instant prize, you got all that money, you had a terrific game, you won it in the last room. Excellent game, that's about all the time. Though. Okay, this is thankfully our last one. 
Also, I want to point this out. For season one of the 25 episodes, the worst the team did was two. Like, season two obviously had a couple losses. There was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, two prizes. But this season had five episodes with two prizes and four with freaking shutouts. So, yeah. Gee, it's like Wesley Yor was a better host. It was an asshole. Here's the final one. All romp up and down stairs, six rooms, 90 seconds. It begins when I read this clue. Buck Rogers had a big wipe out in outer space with this. Find it. Check it all out. 90 seconds has begun. Check it out. Remember, you're looking for object clue cards. You don't have to be gentle. You don't have to be gentle. Buck Rogers had a big wipeout in outer space with this. Quick time is running out. Yes, you found it. We're going to Mother Hubbard's kitchen. Come on into the kitchen. And your clue says, Mother Hubbard house broke her dog on this. Mother Hubbard house broke her dog on this. Think about the clue. This is for an HP, a gift certificate to KB Toys. Mother Hubbard house broke her dog on this. Remember, you're looking for an object clue card. Don't pause, just keep looking. Keep looking around. Think about it, think what you're looking for. Ooh, yikes. Mother Hubbard house broke her dog on this. Big time is running. Big time is running out. Mother Hubbard house broke her dog on this. This is for the KB gifts that they got for $100. Whoa, it's on my foot. Look all over the place. Look all over the place. Ooh, they are tearing the room upside down. Time is running out. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Time did run out on you guys. Hang on one second. What do you house break a dog on? Do you have any idea? No. Well, uh, newspaper. Newspaper. Oh. House bets right in front of you. Wow, so you guys had one room. You had a great game, $700. Harry, tell us about what they won. They've won a cash and prize package worth over $700. Congratulations. Promotional consideration has been provided by... Okay, next for Think Fast. Um, this is gonna be the exception. I like stuff like Finder Secrets and stuff. Uh, the lowest amount of prizes won on the show was three. So there are five uh, Carrington and two Skip Blackies. So, uh, here are all the clips. And at the bottom, I'll, of course, have the episode. I think this broke. Aaron, there's one more thing I should tell you. Somewhere in one of these lockers is a time bomb said to go off after 20 seconds. If you fi find it, we'll give your partner 30 seconds. But if it goes off, she only gets 20 seconds. You got that? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's show him his first match. In locker number five. Put your hopes don't get them burned and keep this apple orange in your head. It's Robin Hood. No, William Tell with the apples. Oh, William Tell, there we go. Here's your first match. Somewhere in one of these lockers is another William Tell. Let's put 30 seconds on the clock. Ready? Think fast. Go, go. He's off. Oh, no, it's not there. No, a doctor. Keep going. Hit him, hit him. Somewhere there's another one. Keep going. Keep going. He found the time bomb, though. Keep going. No, not yet. No, where is he? You must have skipped one. Keep going. Did you hit the ball? Did you hit the ball? Try number 15. Try 13. Yes, yes. Come on back. You got a match. Hit the button. Close it up. Hit the button. Show him his next match. Oh, it's a guy. Where's that other guy without his clothes on? Where is he? Oh, oh no. He's over here in locker number one. So how many matches? You got one match, but he did find the time bomb, which is good. So come on over here, Casey. I got good news. Your partner found the time bomb, so that means you have 30 seconds to find the remaining five matches, okay? Let's show her her first match. 
in locker number two. The balls. Remember the way those other balls were? Okay, she thinks she does. 30 seconds on the clock. Ready? Think fast. She's off. Okay. Yes, yes, the match. Come on back. Show her her next match. A surgeon. Where was that other surgeon? Where was that other surgeon? Where was it? No, no, no. Where? Keep going until you find him. Keep, yes, yes. Come on back. Close it up. Show her her next match. It's a Rotor Rooter man. Okay. <laughs> or an exterminator, one or the other. Keep going. Those have been hit. Keep hitting them. Keep hitting them. Go, 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 go. Time's up. All right. Let's see how many matches you got all together. You got three matches. Come on over, you two, and let's find out what those three prizes are. They won the popcorn popper, the camera, and the roller hockey game. Uh, so this is actually one of the test episodes, uh, the very early uh, test episodes. So if they found the time bomb, they would have gotten 40 seconds. Uh, but sadly, spoilers, they didn't get it. And I believe this is the only early episode where we have uh, this horrible run. If you find it, we'll add 10 seconds to your partner's time. But if you miss it, we'll subtract 10 seconds from her time. Got that? Okay, let's show Kevin where his first match is. Groovy! Yeah, yeah, yeah! It's a All 60s right. chick in locker number 13. That's your first match. You'll have to find another one of those first. Okay, let's put 30 seconds on the clock. Go! He's off! Where's that other 60s girl? Oh, no, it's a money guy. It's not there. Not there. <laughs> Keep going. Hit those buttons until you find her. Hit those buttons. Where is she? Yes, she got a match. Come on back, let's show him his next match. It's that dumb guy there. Find another one of those guys. You remember where it was? Oh, the time bomb went off. Fine, keep hitting it. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. There's a match. Come on back. Close it up. Show him his next match. Mr. Moneybags. Where was that other Mr. Moneybags? Where was that other Mr. Moneybags? Well, come on back, Kevin. Let's see. You did very well. Come on back. How many matches all together? You got, you got three. There was that other Mr. Moneybag is over there. Okay, let's bring on your partner, Amy. Unfortunately, the time bomb went off, so you'll have 20 seconds to make the remaining matches. Let's show her her first match. <laughs> it's question man. And locker number 10. You'll have to find another one of those guys first. Ready? 20 seconds on the clock. Think fast. She's off. Go. She's going. Where's that other question man? Not there. Hit those buttons. Keep going. Hit him. Hit him. Where is there's a match? Come on back. Close it up. Show her next match. It's the clothing and number 15. Where's the other clothing? Where are those other clothes? Keep going. Keep hitting them. Hit them. Oh, time is out. But you got three matches coming over, you two. You did very well. Let's show them those three matches, James. What are those prizes? They won the sunglasses, the clarinet, and the Super Fox race car. Michael? Excellent. Um, so before we actually get to uh, the fail, I want to show something kind of impressive. This is actually one of the two episodes where they have two brain, one of the few episodes where they have two brain benders, and the blue team sadly didn't win, but I do want to show this moment. Remember, we're going to show you a photograph of another, another celebrity. That's right. If you can tell me who it is, you'll win $200. Ready? Here's the first clue. <laughs> Who is George Bush? Beth thinks it's George Bush. <laughs> Show it. Is it George Bush? <laughs> How did you get that? Whoa! Unbelievable. The score is now tied. Gold team and blue with 300. You just saw his forehead. How did you know that was him? Yeah, Michael, you got the scores wrong. I'm sorry. <laughs> Also, the locker room kind of sucks. Take 10 seconds away from his time, and he'll have to make all of his matches with only 20 seconds. You got that? Okay, let's show Denise her first match. It's in locker number 14. Denise, come on back. 
<laughs> oh, there's a biker chick. <laughs> that's your first match. You'll have to find the biker. And when I say go, that's when you take off, okay? You're looking for another one like, I don't know why you would want to, but you're looking for another one like that. Okay, let's put 30 seconds on the clock. Ready? Go! She's off! Where's that other biker girl? Where is she? No, that's not it. Where could she be? That's not it. Oh, my goodness, Frankenstein. What is that thing? Whoa, where's that other biker? Hit all the buttons, Denise. Look for that biker. Keep going. Keep going. Is that it? No, where's the biker? Number you forgot a couple of them. Whoa, what's in this? Where is that biker? Denise, you haven't hit them all. There's a couple over there. Run, run. Finally, the last one. Come on Okay, over, that's Denise. not really her fault. Come on that was over. just terrible. You found button. her. She was in the last one you looked. And unfortunately, the time bomb went off. So let's bring out Sean. Come on out, Sean. You'll have 20 seconds to find the remaining five matches. She didn't get that last one, did she? Okay, you got one. So you'll have the remaining five. Two? Oh, she got two. Okay, here's your first match. She didn't get two? What the hell are you talking about, Michael? One, two, one. Believe me, you gotta find everything. Everything. Just go. It don't matter. It doesn't matter what she found. You gotta find the rest. Okay? Let's put 20 seconds on the clock. Go! He's got a lot to find. Let's see if they can find it. He's off. You're looking for those balloons, Sean. Where are those other balloons? Where are those balloons? There's a match. Come on, guys. Close it up. Go on this next match. It's Frankenstein. Where's that other Frankenstein? Hit him. Hit him. Yeah, there he is. Come on back, close them up. Oh, time is up. Where's that other chicken, by the way? Okay, come on over, you two. You found how many all together? You found three all together. Very good going. James, why don't you tell them what those three prizes are? They won the popcorn popper, the radioactive skateboard, and the Coleman camping package, Michael. Good. Uh, here's another one where they, again, said we get screwed because of the last frickin' door. Show Melissa her first match. And locker number eight. It's a cowboy. Ooh, you'll have to find another cowboy first. Let's put 30 seconds on the clock. Ready? Think fast. She's off. Where's that other cowboy? Take a look. Keep hitting those buttons, Melissa. Go. Keep hitting them. Hit them quick and hit them hard. That one is open already. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going until you find them. Keep going. Where's that other? Oh, boy. Where well, there's the time bomb. Where's that other cowboy, though? Keep going. There's some over here you haven't hit. Where's that other cowboy? Keep going. Keep going all the way down. Keep on coming. Where's that other cowboy? There he is, a match. Come on over. Close up the bell. Close it up. Time is up. Oh, very good, though. You found one match, and you got the time bomb. So let's bring Ricky on. Come on, Ricky. And let's show Ricky his first match. And locker number two, you have to find those other sneakers first. Let's put four, 30 seconds on the clock. Go, think fast. He's off. Is it a, no, it's not there. Yes, a match. Come on back. Hit the button and close it up. Show him his next match. Oh my goodness, it's a headless man. Where's that other headless guy? Listen to your partner. She thinks she knows where it is. She says 10. No, there it is. Come on back, you found it. Close it up, hit the bell. Hit the button and close it up. Show this next match. It's a crazy monster. Where's that other monster? Keep hitting them. Keep hitting those buttons. Time is up. Come on out. Come on out, you two. Come on out. You did very well. How many matches all together? You got three matches. And this is Michael Carrington saying, when well, you don't have time to think twice, think fast. And for our final character one, we have uh, this one where the first player does okay, but the second player literally just running away from the frickin' set like an idiot. Okay, let's show Ricky where his first match is in locker number three. Oh my goodness, it's a headless man. That's the first match you'll have to find, Ricky. Ready? Let's put 30 seconds on the clock. Think fast. Where's that other headless man? He's off. It's not there. Keep going. Keep going until you find him. Keep going. Hit those buttons, Ricky. Hit him. Hit him. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Hit him. Hit him. Hit him. Hit him. Oh, he's still going. There is a match. Come on back. Close it up. Let's show him his next match. 
is that guy there? Find another one like that. Find another guy like that. Where is that other monster? Keep going. Yeah, yeah, Keep yeah, going. Yeah, Keep yeah, going. Yeah, Hit him. There is a match. Come on back. Time is up. You got two matches all together, but you found the time bomb. Let's bring on Susan. Susan, good news. You got 30 seconds to find the remaining matches. Ready? Let's show her her first match. I'm sorry, the time bomb went off. That means you only have 20 seconds. That's your first match right there, the shoes. Find those other shoes. Go. Where are those other shoes? Where are those other shoes? Take a look. Take a look. Keep going. Keep going. Find those shoes. Where are those? There they are. There's a match. Come on back. Hurry, hurry. Close it up. Close it up. Close it. Hit the button. Show her her next match. You're not finished yet, Susan. Keep going. Time is up. Time is up. How many matches all together? You got three matches. This is Michael Carrington saying, when well, you don't have time to think twice, think fast. And for the lucky ones, uh, there's only two. Um... I actually watched this episode on my stream a while back, and for those who don't remember, I got really frustrated. So here we go. Single that will shut up the lockers and allow your partner to continue matching. And let's remind the audience at home who that big smelly fish is today. Also, the cave just like runs away from the set again. Okay, everybody at home gets to see who it is. Are you ready, Joshua? Yes, I am. Are you nervous? Definitely. Okay, that's good. That's good. You're excited. Okay, let's open up a locker and see who he has to match. Oh, there's Skip holding Josh Margie. Where's the meat? I can't find the meat. It's on a fucking meat. Light, camera, action. Okay, camera. you're looking for that mad director. Let's put one minute on the time clock. Ready? Think fast. Go to it. Go to it, Josh. Find that meat. Where's the other director? Where's the other director? Lock it up. Lock it up. Okay, go ahead, Danielle. What are you looking for? You're looking for the phone. Joshua, each of you received $300 each. Congratulations. And here's the final one with uh, Lackey, but it's the blue team. Hey. And the okay, kid our the audience at home knows who it is. All right, are you ready, Craig? Yeah. All right, let's have uh, one minute on the time clock, and let's open up a locker. Through an open door, a king has shown. Now go and find my match, you geek with head of bone. <laughs> okay, you're looking for one mean king there. All right, are you ready? Think fast. Find that king. Find the king. Faster, Craig. Faster.
turn there. Turn around. Turn around. You guys got three matches. Henry J, tell them what they won. Craig and Kelly, you each received three hundred dollars in cash. Congratulations. Three hundred bucks in cash. That's not too bad. You were having a little trouble going out of place there, but uh, you did a good job. You still each get three hundred bucks in cash. Okay, next we have make the grade. So there are a bunch of kids who got two questions. One in season one, one in season two, and then four in season three. But there is also a person who got one. I will show that later. Anyway, here we go. These freaking idiot kids fill out basic questions. What we have for you, here's how it works. We have three categories. You pick one, and then in 45 seconds, you must correctly answer seven questions in that category. The questions are divided into different subjects. Today's subjects are, first of all, let me give you the categories. Famous Americans, famous pairs, and movies. Which one of those would you like? Famous Americans. Famous Americans. All right. Famous Americans has been divided into English, science, history, music, the arts, geography, and social studies. All those categories, the, all those subjects relate in some way to the category of famous Americans. And now, as I ask the questions, if you don't know an answer, pass it. We'll go back to that question afterwards. You get $100 for every correct answer. You get $1,000 if all of your answers are correct. Uh, are you ready to play? Yeah. Okay, please put 45 seconds on the clock. All right, Eric, here we go. English. Who wrote How the Grinch Stole Christmas? <laughs> Dr. Seuss. Dr. Seuss is right. Science, who invented the light bulb? Uh, pass. Pass. History, who was the first American to set foot on the moon? Um, Neil Armstrong. Right. Music, who wrote the Star Spangled Banner? Pass. The arts, who directed the movie E.T.? Uh, pass. Geography, which president made the Louisiana Purchase? Um, pass. Social studies, who anchors the network news on CBS? Science, who invented the light bulb? Um, pass. Music, who wrote the Star Spangled Banner? Uh, pass. Oh, 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 you got two right. That adds to your total of $500. You're going home with $700. That's not too shabby. Thanks. All right, Thanks. listen, please join us again next time for another challenging session of Make the Grade. Okay, for season two, we have Jimmy. Um, we're actually going to show him twice because not only did he suck at this, um, this is, I believe, one of the two episodes that have the university round, which our host will explain later, but, uh, one of the episodes I cannot find that has the university round, and of course the one episode we have has the absolute worst university round ever. <sighs> the first question, your head's going into a box. Beautiful. Here we go. The arts. What TV cop owns a cockatoo? Pass. Geography. Name Arizona's capital city. Pass. History. Ben Franklin wanted what bird to represent the United States? He... Pass. Okay, home act. Down comes from the feathers of what bird? Music, a farewell appearance, might also be called what kind of song? A, um, news? Nope, incorrect. Radio. Phys ed, what Sesame Street bird should be good at basketball? Pink bird. Right. Science, birds and reptiles both lay what? Eggs. Right. And arts, who is Snoopy's food? Close there, you got two. Uh, you got two right, that's $200, plus the 500 more from before, you got $700, but there's more coming up. Let's go over the questions you might have missed. A farewell ap appearance might also be called a swan song. Uh, here's the other one. Down comes from the feathers of what bird, geese, or ducks? Ben Franklin, interestingly enough, wanted the turkey to be our national bird. So you'd have turkeys on your money, on all that money you won. Uh, you'd actually have turkeys pictured. Uh, name Arizona's capital city? Phoenix. Phoenix was the capital. And uh, what TV cop owns a cockatoo? Tough first question. That was Beretta owns a cockatoo. Coming up right after this. Okay, Jimmy, you've done a great job so far. You've won a lot of money. But now, here we are in the university round. You have a chance to pick up a whole lot more money. In fact, this whole lot more money. There it is right there. Get a good look at that. Hope that becomes very familiar to you. Let me explain how this works. 
The university round consists of five questions assembled on random subjects by our Make the Grade panel of scholars. As I go through the questions, they all have a different money numerical value. In other words, the first question will be worth $50. If you'll answer that question correctly, I'll then ask you, if, I don't know if you'll answer correctly, but if you do, I'll ask you if you would like to continue or if you'd like to quit. If you quit, you quit with the 50 bucks plus everything you've won so far. In fact, you can never lose what you've won in the honors round and what you won in the first part of the game. That's $700, that's already yours. Okay, so let's say you get it right. You get $50, you can play again. If you want to play again, you're now playing for $100, okay? You get it right, you have $100. If you want to keep going, the next question, you're playing for $200. Okay, so essentially, you, you, whatever you gamble goes back into the pot. In other words, so you're playing for the next hundred dollars. Dollars. Pass or go on. All right, the money's right here. I'll have it for you as you get these questions correct. Good luck, Jimmy. You have five seconds for each question. I'll ask for your for your answer after the fifth second. Here we are. First university round question: What is the smallest planet in our solar system? Fifty dollars. Jimmy, your answer, please. Jupiter? That is incorrect, Jimmy. I'm afraid you can't go on. There are no more chances in this. But, Jimmy, let me just go through these questions to see how he would have done. Let's assume that you got that one right. Let's... And here are all uh, four of the Robert Morris, uh, Rob Morris clips. Are you ready? Ready. You guys ready out there? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Let's put this kid's head in the box and let's get started. Arts, name the cigar-smoking comedian who starred in three Oh God movies. George Burns. Yes, English. In H.A. Ray's books, Curious George is what kind of animal? A monkey. Yes, geography. Georgetown University is located in what East Coast U.S. city? Pass. History. Name the first commander-in-chief of the U.S. Army. Pass. Homek. Georgie Porgy Pudding in what? It's the girls in Made Them Cry. Want to pass? Yeah. Music. Porgy and Bess is an opera written by an American composer, George Hoon. Pass. Phys Ed, George Foreman is known for what sport? Pass. Geography, Lake George is in what northwest, northeast U.S. state? Maine? No. History, the U.S. attack on Sicily during World War II was led by General George S. Hume. Oh, boy. Two of them. That's okay. Oh, that's okay, because each one is worth $100. That's $200 plus the $500 that you won before. That's $700. All right. Hey. This is not going to start. Until I'm done reading the first question, take a deep breath. Okay. You guys ready out there? Yeah! Now the question is, are you ready? <laughs> I guess. <laughs> okay. Put this kid's head in the box and we'll get started. Arts. Who stars as Jack Tripper in Three's Company? Pass. English. To break up with a boyfriend, a woman would write what kind of letter? Dear John. Yes. History. Who was the first man to sign the U.S. Declaration of Independence? John Adams. From Homek. What is the slang word that means bathroom? John? Yes, music. Name the pop star who wrote and sang the club at the end of the street. Pass. Phys Ed, name the manager fired by New York Mets, by the New York Mets in spring 1990. John Davis? Uh, I don't pass. Science, name the first American to orbit Earth. Pass. Arts, the, what cartoonist writes and draws the Wizard of Id? Pass. History, name the U.S. president who took office after Lyndon was this, Lincoln was assassinated. John Adams? That is incorrect. Okay, we're out of time. We have two of them. <laughs> Each one is worth $100. That's $200 plus $500 from before. That's $700. I'm going to put this kid's head in the box and we'll get started. Arts. What girl with glasses wants Dennis the Menace to be her boyfriend? Margaret. Yes. English. Name the newspaper columnist who advises readers about manners. Pass. Geography, name the capital of Spain. Madrid. Yes. History, what is the first name of the U.S. president whose last name was Fillmore? Pass. Music, what Australian rock band sings Blue Sky Mining on an album by the same name? Want to pass? Yes. Okay. This is Name the San Francisco 49ers quarterback. Marino. Incorrect. Science. The Aust Austrian botanist known for experiments on heredity was named Gregor what? Pass. English. The Winnie the Pooh books were written by A.A. A. Hoon. Want to pass? Yes. Oh, boy. You got two of them, right? Hey, man, that's $100 for each one, $200 plus $500 from before. How much is that? $700. $700. Hey. 
You can't beat seven hundred dollars, man. You know, just a half an hour's worth of work. I'm proud of you. What are you gonna do with the money? Uh, fix my motorcycle. Fix your motorcycle. Yeah. I don't have a motorcycle, man. <laughs> okay. Well, good for you. Let's go over the ones that. Uh, no, we're not gonna go over the ones that we miss because we're out of time. <laughs> we'll see you next time on Make the Grade. Thanks for being with us in the show. So before we get to the epic fail, Make the Grade. This is actually the one um, I did for my reaction video. Yeah, so this was not the best first impression for the show for me, to say the least. So, yeah, she don't know what a freaking tomato is. Enough said. Simply want to pass, just say so. Your forty-five seconds. This is cute. <laughs> Your forty-five seconds will not start until I'm I'm done reading the first question. Are you ready? Yeah. Are you ready out there? Yeah. Okay. Put this kid's head in the box, and we'll get started. Arts. Long John Silver is a character in what novel? Pass. Geography. Knoxville is located in what U.S. state? Texas. Incorrect. History. Name the first Roosevelt who became a U.S. president. Pass. Homek. What red fruit is an ingredient in marinara spaghetti sauce? Pass. Music. What group sings Pump Up the Jam? Technotronic. Yes. His head, the bar suspended by two ropes that acrobats swing from, is called a what? Pass. Science, name the dinosaur called blank rex. Tyrannosaurus. Yes. Arts, what kind of plays depict the downfall of heroic individuals? Pass. Geography, what country shares its name with the Thanksgiving delicacy? Oh, no. You got two right. Each one is worth $100. That's $200 plus $500. That's $700. <laughs> That's pretty good. Let's see. What country shares its name with the Thanksgiving delicacy? That's Turkey. Uh, Knoxville is located in what U.S. state? That's Tennessee. And that's our show for today, folks. We got to get going. We'll see you next time on Make the Grade. Okay, here it is, folks. The worst bonus drone in Make the Grade history. This kid gets one question right. You know, he should change his nickname to Pass because he passes on every goddamn question. What pass? This pass, 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 pass. Here we go. Pass. English. What show is about a teenage a teacher trying to educate sweat hogs? Yes. If you add 10%, how much would the $6 million man cost? Yes. Which aired first, the Cosby Show family t or Family Ties? Um, family Ties. Right. Home Economics. Pop and Fresh is an animated spokesperson for what food brand? Popcorn. Incorrect. Who's the host of The Tonight Show? Um, yes. This ad is ESPN on broadcast or cable TV. Yes. Designing women live in what state? Yes. English. What show is about a teacher trying to educate sweat hogs? Yes. If you add ten percent, how much would the six million dollar man cost? Oh, oh, of course. Yes, Mr. Yes. Few there. Home Economics. Pop and Fresh is a spokesperson for Pillsbury. 10% would be $6 million man would cost $6,600,000. The host of Tonight Show is Johnny Carson. Uh, ESPN is on cable television. Designing Women Live in Georgia. And welcome back, Potter, Educated Sweat Hogs. But you did play nicely today. You did win $500 for the first game, $100 here. That's $600 for the total. That's terrific. Join us again next time for another challenging session of Make the Grade. So long, everybody. It's time to move on to get the picture. And... We have two freaking matches. There's actually going to be another one after this, which is a uh, one match, which I didn't know about when I made my old video, and then I just made this one-off video of it. Here are the two worst get the picture mega memory rounds. These are both from season two, by the way. Hey, the theme of today's mega memory: crunchy foods. Take a look at these nine crunchy foods. <laughs> Okay, guys, get up there on that pad. We'll put 35 seconds on the clock. I need you to yell at the answers loud and clear. Each take turns. And uh, who's going first? Me. Okay, Robert's going first. We'll put 35 seconds on the clock. And here is the first clue. 
this green vegetable comes in stocks. Go. Eight is incorrect. Batter dipped poultry dish with the crunchy outside. Five is incorrect. Y'all, bread that gets browned and buttered. Nine is right. Mexican hard shell filled with meat. Five. Five is incorrect. Kernels explode into a salty crunch. Kernels explode into a salty Three. crunch. Three is incorrect. Pour milk over it and start your breakfast. Five. Five is incorrect. Grows on trees, crunchy when it's ripe. Grows on trees, crunchy. Eight, Eight is right. Crack open the shells and enjoy. Thanks. Six is incorrect. Thin, crunchy snack goes Five. with dip. That's incorrect. This green vegetable comes in stocks. Okay, that buzzer means time is up. You guys got toast and apples. Come back down here. I'll show you what you missed. We had the green vegetable comes in stocks. That was celery. Then we had batter dip poultry dish with the crunchy outside. Fried chicken. Tacos was number four. Popcorn number two. Cereal number six. Crack open the shells and enjoy was nuts. Potato chips. Henry Che, what they get? Larissa and Robert, for two matches, you'll split $200 in cash. Good work. Here we go, the worst actual get the picture Mega Man round. One freaking match. I know I uploaded separately before, but now it's in the compilation. You're welcome. Thank you, HJ. Okay, the theme of today's Mega Memory is red things. Take a look at these red things for 10 seconds. Relax, show it to them, guys. <laughs> There you go. Okay, get up on that pad there. I need you to yell at the answers loud and clear. Remember to help each other out and take turns. We'll put 35 seconds on the clock, and the clock will not start till I have read off the first clue. And here it is. Spicy vegetable, good raw or cooked? Go. Eight, Eight is incorrect. Fruit on a stick for Halloween. Seven. Seven is incorrect. Can't park in front of this. Can't park in front of this. Four is incorrect. Comes in a tube. It should match your nail polish. Two. Two lipstick is right. Something you pick for your cereal, Sunday or shortcake. Something you pick for your cereal, Sunday or shortcake. Which number, guys? Seven. Seven's incorrect. Don't touch this unless there's a real fire. Don't touch this unless there's a real fire. Ah. Four is incorrect. High quality protein, but watch that cholesterol. Two. Two is incorrect. King of the Alaskan shellfish. King of the Alaskan shellfish. Three, three is incorrect. Okay, you guys, step right down here. Number three was the lobster. You didn't get that one, but uh, number number six was red pepper. Then we had candy apples. And number four, fire hydrant. Number one, strawberry. Number nine, fire alarm. Number five, eight was meat. Seven was crab. And Henry J, what did they get? For one match, you'll split $100 in cash. Yeah, they get to spend $100 in cash. Thank you for being with us today. We'll see you next time on Get the Picture. Bye-bye. So for Nick or Kate, I'm only going to show one because the team literally got absolutely nothing in the video zone. People say Nadine is the worst. At least she got something. You know, an item. If I was doing the second worst, like the tech one could have included 204. But I don't want this video to get copyright blocked. Considering I already have a strike that doesn't expire for a freaking month. Yeah, the only good thing I can say is this team thankfully got bikes so that ranked somewhere else. So they would have been the only team to get absolutely nothing. <laughs> All right, now Joy's going to have to try to save the humans. And of course, there's some snowball action that has to be done in there too. So we're waiting to see how it's going to take place. I'm ready. I'm psyched. My fingers are crossed. Ready, set, go, Joy. So I'd have to be hit. All right, she is off. All right, she got hit to him. Up one unit of the power. She's climbing, she's climbing. Oh, the eyeball hit her too. She's down to two units of power. We're at 48 seconds, two units of power. No humans yet. Okay, there's the power rod. I wonder if she can get it in time. They're down to 39 seconds. And one unit of the power left. Okay, all power is gone. They're going to have to hit start again. Hit start again. They're at 30 seconds. Start has been hit again. One unit of power is gone. Drip, 27 seconds. Oh, not quite getting the human there. 20 seconds. They have three units of power left. They're down to 18 seconds and one unit of power. A lot of sucking, a lot of... We're down to 10 seconds. Oh, and the power is gone again. Start's gonna have to be hit one more time. They're down to five seconds. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I guess 
since the aim was off a little bit, the humans all got sucked in out of space. But you know what? At front, they won the Dynacraft mountain bike. <laughs> They're going to ride their way out of here with a great prize. Okay, so for Hidden Temple, I don't really have much to explain. Um, last time I only showed one run. Uh, on the site, as I mentioned before, my branch reviews, they did on the site Phantom Temple ranks the temple runs. So here are all five of the runs that were ranked a one out of ten. So, which are Blackbeard's Treasure Map, the Golden Curtain Gates of Calm, which was actually on the original video. Which was Silver Snakes. As a Silver Snakes fan, that's kind of offensive to me. Kind of offends me. Uh, here's the Alhambra, which is easily the worst episode ever. In case you're wondering the ranking, 3.6, 3.2, 2.7. Now for Season 2, Season 3, we have the Jack, which got a 2.8. Out of 10 for the final score, uh... Orange Iguanas, and then another Silver Snakes, which is the Snow Cone and Mount Kilimanjaro, 3.2. <sighs> Here are all five of the horrible runs. Let's get into position. All right, Sabrina, put your mouthpieces in, both of you, and let's put three minutes on the clock. Oh, this is the worst solo run, by the way. On your mark, get set. Go! She's heading into the cave of size. Oh! Right. Oh. oh! Staggered at the cave of size. Go! Go, go, go! She's heading up the cave of size, looking for that first door. Still staggered by that time. Uh, try another one. Keep going up. Keep going up. You have to try another door. There, that one opens. Two minutes, 32 seconds. She's still got plenty of time and she's gonna make her way into the wall climb. And she's gonna have to climb way, climb on down, get into the wheel and lift that rock slab. Can she turn it? Climb up it, climb up, there it goes. There it goes. Open sesame, keep going. The door is revealed. Now all you just have to do is open it. Oh, it won't open. You have to try another one. Go back up. Minute 56. She's gonna have to go back up into the, uh, back through that gate. And heading in back into the cave of size. She's gonna have to go to the gargoyle room. She might have to go straight up. Keep going straight up, that door opens. Still got a minute 34. This is really tough. Open one of those tongues. One door's got to open. That one's open. Try, try the other way. Try the other side. Keep trying that door. Slide the door over. There it goes. Still got a minute. You got a blaze now. Almost lost her footing there as she's heading on up to the observatory. She's gonna have to turn the uh, sundial to open that other door. Keep going, that, that's gonna take her down to the heart room. With 42 seconds. Which way is she gonna go now? Try another door, you wanna always move forward. Now that's gonna take you back up the observatory. You kinda of lose your way when you're in the temple. Well, I wanna try it down. That's gonna take her back up the observatory again. I wanna come on back down. Oh, she's heading back out the way she came in. That's tough. Sorry you guys didn't make it. Did a great job though. Excellent job. Join us again next time for more adventure and another great legend of the Hidden Temple. Bye bye. Okay, here's the one.
we all know. Uh, the, most, the worst run on the show. Uh, deemed by fans because they only got four rooms. I mean, technically the episode after this is Elizabeth the first going to ship. They also got four rooms, but that was technically because of a, bull a BS triple seizure that they could not have they had a hard time avoiding. On your mark, get set, go! There he goes, into the Cave of Sighs. John has been fired up since the beginning. He wants to go, he wants to do a good job here. He is urging him on, he's gotta find that door. Where is it? He's gotta hit that button on the, one of those doors. He's in, he's in across the ledge. Now he's gotta go into the pit of despair. So if he's caught by a temple guard, he'll know to get out. There he's heading for the throne. Although the there, he's got a temple guard. He's got to give up one of his pendants. He's got to go on, though. He's got another life. He's got to find an opening. Which way is he going to go? That'll take him back into the pit of despair. He's going to have to go back the other way. You're gonna have to go back the other way, John. That's only gonna take you into the gargoyles room. Back into the throne of the pretenders. He's looking for a way out. He's heading up to the center of the room. The heart room. He's got a minute, 45 seconds. There's another temple. It's Tia's turn to go. Ball's path. Let's see what she can do. There she goes, just follow his path. He's heading for the throne. Right up, she's heading for the center of the room again. There's no more temple cards in there. She knows to hit a door somewhere. Just hit a button on the side of the door. There's a button. Try another one. Try another button. There's a button somewhere else. going to take you back into the pit of despair. You've still got 51 seconds. You're going to have to go back the other way. She's kind of caught up in the despairing room. She's got to keep going. Find another button on the door. That's just going to take you back down to the throne room. I want to try to go through the spider's lair. Let's see if that door over there. She's got 22 seconds left. She's gonna try that wall climb again. She's only got a few seconds left. She's showing her muscle here. Oh, nice try, guys. Come on over here. Come on over. Come on over. Oh, you had a little trouble there over there in the uh, heart room, didn't you? Yeah. yeah. Well, you did a good job. You still, you end up getting the remote control car. Well, we're going to go. We're going to get out of here. Thank you. Join us next time for another great legend. Bye-bye. Um, okay, next we have the worst second runner. So our, the person going first is actually pretty quick, and you can go through in about 30 seconds before getting screwed. Uh. The first one was a two pennant run, the second one was a one and a half. This was only a single pennant run, so they were kind of screwed, but the second runner frickin' On your mark, get go set, go! There they go, there he goes! Up the cave of size, into, he's heading for the pit, the pit of despair. He dives in, he's moving fast, he knows where he's going, he's confident. He's into the throne. Oh, Temple Guard! There he is. He gets him a pendant. He's moving on into the spider's lair. Gonna get through that web, that nasty web. He has no problem. He's heading right into the Temple of the Ancient King. Oh, look out! He got caught by it. It's Lisa's turn. Go, Lisa, go! She's gonna have to clean up. Hopefully.
Hopefully she won't run into another tempo guard. She's still got two minutes and uh, 18 seconds. Into the pit of despair, she's got some work to do. She's a cool customer though. She knows what she's doing. She pulls up her sock, she's cool. Kirk, what the fuck does that even mean? Into the web, into the spider's lair. Oh, she's tangled, what a tangled web we weave. She's heading through the uh, Temple of the Ancient Kings. Now she's got to find it. Find a lock. Find a lock that'll open up. That did. What opened up? She's going to push through that? No, that, that, that's not going to do it. There's another room. What's open? She's still got to find her way. She's got a minute 36. She's going to have to try another door. Maybe the other one. Keep trying the doors. Keep trying the doors. The other door that's open, maybe, huh? Want to try it? That's, you're heading back into the into the uh, fighter's lair. You can, she's climbing back out. Maybe she's gonna go back. Maybe she's got a better idea. Maybe she's gonna go to the throne room. I think she wants to go up. You're gonna. Oh, she's going up into the heart room. She got 59 seconds. She's gonna have a lot of work to do. Gonna hit a door, that doesn't open. Up. She's gonna, you wanna head, you wanna try to head back towards the uh, dungeon. The wall climb. Where's she going? I don't know. She's gotta, she's gotta rethink it now. She's heading back into the throne room again. gonna have to climb back up no you're heading back out the exit you're gonna have to turn around you only got a few seconds left she's gonna climb again i'm running out oh time's up oh too bad oh she didn't make it she didn't make it but she still you still get the remote control car See us next time for more adventure and another great legend of the Hidden Temple! Okay, we finished all the season one ones. Uh, we're on season three, so you'd think people would be smarter, but nope. Lower your gate. Put three minutes on the clock. On your marks. Get set. Go! There she goes, up into the temple. Which way is she heading? Into the crypt. She pulls a book. Get out of here. Which one will activate the door? That one does. She's heading into the pit of the pendulum. She'll have to swing on the rope. Knock the column off. Hopefully get back to the ledge. She'll have to swing again. She jumps off instead. Nice move. Seconds. She's gonna have to climb the wall. She's gonna have to make up time. She's gonna have to move. She's strong. She showed up the temple games. She's heading in the chamber of the sacred markers. And she pulled herself up. Oh, she fell back down to the pit. She's gonna have to try a new room. This is tough to get out of that pit. Many have never returned from the pit. She regroups. I think she's going to make it out. Now she's going to have to move fast. There she goes. Into the chamber of the sacred markers. Still plenty of time. Put the markers on the wall. Line them up perfectly and another door will open. Which way should go? Which door will open? She's going across into the room of the ancient warriors. She'll have to get into the headdress. Hold down the arms. That door, did any door open? No. That one will be the third one. Yes, oh, temple guard, Kingster. But she's got a pendant. So 
she can go on. Which way now? The only door that's open, which way can she go? Up into the King's storeroom. She's gonna smash a pot. Temple guard, go! There goes Thomas in the temple. He's gonna have to make up the big time time. 35 seconds. The doors are already open. They freaking sucked. It's the Huffy Knight Mountain Bike. Great job, Thomas. We had a great time here. This is a tough team here. We're going to see you again next time for another great legend of the Hidden Temple. Bye bye. Okay, we're done Hidden Temple after this finally. This isn't like Make the Great or freaking Big Factor. There's like seven of them. There's only five, so. Again, as a Silver Snakes fan, this is. Kind of embarrassing to watch. On your marks, get set, go! There he goes, up into the temple. Where's he going first? Into the crypt. He's got a pull up out of here. Oh, that one didn't work. Let go! Try the other one. He's heading to the pit of the pendulum. So far, no temple guards. He knocks over the column. It opens the bottom. He's heading into the tomb of the Headless Kings. They've got a pin in the half. Oh, Tempo Guard takes his pendant. Next time a Tempo Guard takes him, it'll be Heather's turn. He's got to pull all the vines. He's got to find the skull and put it on. Oh, he tries the front way technique, but he's got to get behind it. Nice try, though. Up on top. There he goes. Try the other one. Oh, it slowed him down a little bit. There he goes. Heading in the gesture's court. One minute, 50 seconds. Casey had his trouble too. He got caught by a temple guard in there. 
Come on over, Heather. Whoa, that was an exciting run. Heather had a little bit of trouble getting past the dark forest. And Casey had a little bit of trouble getting past the Jester's Court. I know they had a great time, and they're out of breath, and we're out of time. They get the portable CD player. I know they're going to enjoy that. We'll see you again next time for another great adventure and another great legend of The Hidden Temple. Bye-bye. Okay, so for Figure It Out, uh, again, like last time, here are all uh, five shoutouts for original One Revival. Sorry, five original, one Revival. The Revival is going to be camera quality again because... Yeah. Here we go. All of the shutouts. They're going to come out and you shut out clues. <laughs> okay. Ready? Go. Go, oh, Justin! Justin! Brother, he jobs. He's Justin! He's, he's, uh, jumping. he's jumping! Jump Jump he's, he's jumping! He's jumping! He's jumping! He's jumping! He's jumping! 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 Stop! Yes or no questions, Kevin? Uh, it involves jumping, correctly? No. Nope. On the no. right track. Think hopping. about it. Expand. Danny. Does it involve hopping, skipping? Nope. Jumping Adam. to conclusions. No. Nope. I think it has something to do with you in Jamaica at this point. <laughs> no. Because, quite frankly. I think it does. Okay, no more conversation, guys. You get your final guesses. Kevin, we're starting with you. Try to fill in Bill the answer head. Um, do you even know what you do? No. <laughs> you have no idea. No. There's He's just going, no, yes. Um, <laughs> that was what he would have right, done. Um, um, blank the, the youngest blank, blank, poker blank. player, hopper, leaper. No. Blank the blank blank blank. <laughs> <laughs> you, you like to play cards. Adam, on to you. The friendliest IRS agent. <laughs> no, this means last no. One. Lori Beth, last chance. <laughs> you are. Come on. Go get him. Come on, Tiger. Come on. Come on, Lloyd. Maryland back. State. <laughs> Gambling. No. Timepiece operator. No, he is not. He's taking out the grand prize. Yes. Yes. All right. Right up here, Shelly. What is it that you did? Invented the one minute jumpsuit. He did. He invented the one minute jumpsuit. Did you guys get the clues? The cards, the suits, the jumpsuit part. All right. Okay, technically they said jump and suit in the freaking game, but because they weren't together, they didn't give it to them. This is also the same episode that had the BS thing where they said champion, but they didn't give him the word until the freaking Charay Brigade. God, this episode sucks. Alright, but we want to hear all the prizes that Shelly... Do you think with this slime in my unshaven face, I look like a slimy Johnny Depp? <laughs> I think he looks like a slimy Johnny Depp. <laughs> um, no, so close. Making me crazy. Lifting. <laughs> no more conversation, Josh. Yes or no questions. Um. Think about what Mike said. Mike didn't say Ten anything. Seconds. Summer. Ten uh, seconds. I don't know. Pass. Danny. Uh, Ace. Are we getting anywhere with this? <laughs> no. No. More than that. Do you think you'll have a good time in Key West? <laughs> You know what? That's the end of round number three. We're going to give you your final guesses. Lori Beth, we're going to start with you. Try to fill in this Bill the Answer Head. Blank and blank blank. Danny? <laughs> Danny. Um, you uh, eat and sleep nightly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Take in all the clues. Put them all together. Take it in. <laughs> blank and blank blank, Summer. Yes, yes. Very good effort. Mike. You design and paint Weasley surfboards. No! She's taking on the grand prize. Key West, here she comes. Give her a big round of applause. Okay. They were a little clueless, so let's help them out. Courtney, what is it that you do? I rescue and raise ferrets. Ferrets, the pop goes the weasel. Raises and then rescues. It yeah. was a tough oh. one. The life preserver. Oh. Yeah. It's all coming together now, but it's... Feeding chickens. Do you feed any animals? Yes. A specific Kevin. animal? Cold on 
on the chickens, guys. Kevin, <laughs> yes or no questions? Oh, the end of round number three, no more conversation. Danny, we're going to start with you. Final <laughs> guesses. All right. Try I know. to add to fill the answer head. I know what you do. <laughs> you are a dog pretending to eat chicken feet. No. Yeah. <laughs> You're very cold on the chicken, guys. Lori Beth. Do you raise and train? And one of the words in the answer head. Dogs that eat potatoes. Okay, yes, they technically got the word and, but that should have been given to them, so I'm still counting this as a shutout. Boy, are you guys having Better trouble word. with this one? Kevin, are you going to pull it together for him? You've slimed my puppy. <laughs> I want you to know that. She um, didn't do anything. You throw hash browns and puppies at things. Okay, for Slice that. Do you make one. some, um, do you make noises or sounds? Final guess. No, that was our final oh, guess. Oh. Kevin's and Amy is taking out <laughs> the grande prize. Completely stumped him. Okay, what is it that you do? I breed and raise pigeons, home and pigeons. I knew it. She breeds and raises home and pigeons. Okay, guys. We want to go over all the things that Amy's taking home today. There's so many. Completely stumped the panel. Worth it. Things. First of all, the clues. The dogs there, those are breeds. She breeds and races. Mm -hmm. The potatoes, home, home fries, fries, homing pigeons. It's all coming together. Speaking of pigeons, we have a few of them back here. She's supposed to be doing that? I have no <laughs> idea. <laughs> yeah. Involve something messy? Photography, is that have to do with? Yeah. Yes. All right. Did you take pictures of plants? No. All right. Dave. Is it some type of like rodent animal, like a rat or a mouse? Yes. Okay, so it's uh, gotta be a. Nothing. Gotta hold, gotta hold on to the. I know. The, the buzzer loves you. Okay, no more conversation, you guys. Time for final guesses. Blank. <laughs> <laughs> Are you kidding? Blank, 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 blank into blank, blank. And if you guys get this one, I'm telling you what. Christy, your final guess. Okay, uh, my final guess is that you're going on that four-day cruise. <laughs> That's probably a pretty good guess, Dave. All right, using the clues here. You throw hamsters and gerbils into a photographic darkroom. No, but you know what? You're on the right track. Amanda, uh, final okay. guess. Okay, uh, I have to, like, say... She's going on the cruise too, but like, does that have anything to do with mouses? Like mice, mouses, mice. <laughs> Never mind. No, no. Okay, Kevin. Just get, get a robot. It's You're, up to you. You gotta be kidding. Um, <laughs> We're not kidding. We're based very on all the clues that I've seen <laughs> and all the evidence and and the word into. <laughs> uh, I would have to say that you turn some sort of animal into a trip. So you did. I make guinea pigs into movie stars. <laughs> Bailey was the movie stars. Guinea pig was, you guys were so close, you were saying hamsters, rodents, all that stuff. Pig, the mud. It's not grease, it's mud. It's all coming together now, but. <laughs> you know, animals are Does it involve more than one animal? Yes. Ooh. That makes no sense. Go on. Chrissy. <laughs> Aw. We're like totally stumped. Okay. Time for final guesses. You guys get this one. I don't know what, but uh, you guys are the luckiest kids in town. Blank, blank, in, blank, blank. Christy, your final guess. Um, tr she's going to her trip in wherever she's going. <laughs> yes. No, nope. Tara, think about all your clues, you guys. I know. Piece it all together. <laughs> Llama's doing push-ups in Trinidad. No. Embarrass myself. <laughs> Black one guess one. You just want to embarrass yeah. yourself. It, uh, you don't want to embarrass yourself in something? I don't know. Okay. No they couldn't even guess it, you guys. She's oh. taking home the grand, grand prize. Let's hear it for Jen. A complete. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
She does to you. I she coaches, coaches cockroaches in tractor pull. It was the coach that came out, was giving the signs. That was the cockroach that they were charading, and then the tractor stuff that you see over there. This is what I had to do for a while, so apologies. Yes. Ah, oh, here's your third and final clue. Relax. Uh, just a clue. Just a clue. Uh, nose. A eyes, a face, a hair, a person with arms, a pancake with a man, a shrug, a sailor. Nathan, go ahead. Yes or no question. Does it involve sailing? No. Oh, are you are you the fastest at something? No. Are you a little boy, Sammy? No. Okay, Jeanette. That is the end of the third and final round, Jeanette. Yes. This is it. They get right. final guesses. Right. They have nothing to work on. Final guess. Fill in the blanks. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. <laughs> no. Nice try, though. That was a valid effort, Nathan. <laughs> Bodybuilding and uh, sailboat construction expert. <laughs> no, you added a few extra words. Ashley, think about those clues. Final guess. Um... Uh, little people and purple dressmaking. No. Matt, guys, good luck. Come on, baby. <laughs> I got it. I know what it is. You mock us and make us sad. <laughs> no! Sammy is a grand prize winner. Yes! Okay, okay. Tell everyone what the secret is. Champion oh. forms a weapons karate kid. We didn't say weapons. Champion form. form the dress is the form. Dress form and then the weapons. You got a bunch of them in front of you. That's kid. Never, but they, it's but a it kid. Was, it's a kid. It looks like a. We gave, we we practically painted you a picture. As a matter of fact, we drew it for you. Okay. After we skip like a decade, we're moving on to brain surge, and we have probably the worst. I'm actually going to show two this time. We have the two worst players in the show's history. Well, they're technically worst seven five by five fails. Um, two of them, the other five got the score seven. These two only got the score five. Uh, first we have Jocelyn, who, if you see my review of the episode, uh, you know, this is the worst episode ever, and the worst champion ever, so... Because she makes the same mistake five goddamn times. Almost consecutively. Yep, worst champion in the entire show. Pocket, here you go. Put it up on the board, and there it is. Tucking my, my pocket back in. Now pay attention, here's your first pass. <laughs> You're gonna see it twice, okay? Clock will start when you make your first step. Good luck, Jocelyn. She's off. Doing real well, doing real well. Stop the clock, Jocelyn! Just like that! Guess what? Awesome job! You got yourself a guitar! Oh man, I just got an idea. Let's start a band. Yes. Okay, after. Yes. We'll do okay. that after. But right now, here's your second path. That doesn't look too bad. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, here it comes again. Tell how many times we got she made 82 this seconds mistake, okay? left. That's like an eternity, okay? Go it ahead. It feels like an eternity, yeah. She's but back at it. it. Still. Oh, bring it back, bring it back. Okay, take a look. Here it is again. All right, see where you went wrong? Go ahead. Clock's still running. She's got it. One. So close, so close. Here you go. <laughs> they want you to win. They want you to win. 60 seconds left on the clock. Woo! Almost missed that one. This is where she messed up last time. So I think that was the same mistake you made last time. <laughs> All right, you see where you went wrong. Go ahead. 48 seconds left. There you go. Oh, this is where she keeps getting messed up. Oh, no. So close, so close. Here you go. Take a look. Oh, there it is. 
is. Okay, 34 seconds left. That one square is giving you some trouble. You got 20 seconds left. All right, you got to start picking up the pace here. Make sure you hit the right ones. There you go. It's the same one, the same one. You can have one more chance at this, okay? Here it is, hurry up. Nine seconds, go. Five, four, three, oh! Okay, here's my question. If a square isn't going to work, why do you keep trying it? Like, you didn't think of going right once the entire freaking time? <sighs> Justin sucks, and for someone who sports red, that's a damn insult. Oh, time's up, Justin! Come on down! Come on down here. All right. You got yourself a guitar, right? Right there. Right there. Double high fives. Come on. We're going to start a band. Look for us in the stores. It's going to be fantastic. Did she deserve a guitar? No, she didn't. As you know, Jocelyn, there's only one way out of here. And that is down the brain. Jay, why don't you head on over there? Thanks for watching. That's all the time we have today on Brain Search. Tune in next time. We have six new Brainiacs. Go head to head to head to head to head to head on Brain Search. Thanks for watching Mayfield, New York. Good speed. Never gets old. And for season two, we have Jade. Again, five squares. The one thing I will give Josh at least is sorry, Josh at least is you get the four by four, no problems. Jade sucks. Like my god. Just just watch. I don't think I need to explain. There it is. All right, here is your first path. Check it out. All right, you'll see it one more time. And the clock starts when you make your first step. Good luck. Jade is off and running. Oh, hurry back. That's all right. Shake it off. Good. You got it out of your system now. There you go. Clock is still running. Keep it loose, keep it loose, keep it loose, keep it loose. There you go. Nice recovery. Yeah! Woo! Come on back! You know what? You got you got all, all the cobwebs out there. Alright, now you're all I just want to point this out, the four by four, the Moultrie suit, there's no problem. And the six by six, the Stolbergs. The Slowbergs, they took their time, but they still managed to queer and got help. But they still managed to queer the six, five by five, no problems. And I feel like had the dad not gotten help, he still would have at least squared it. Unlike freaking Jade. All loosened up. It's all good. You got yourself the camping gear, and here's the five by five. Take a look at this path. It's for the guitar. All right, we'll see it one more time. All right, good luck. Clock will start start when you make your first step. All right, sorry, you got like halfway through. Take another look. There it is. All right. Oh, that's all right. That's all right. You have plenty of time. I'll take care of the clock for you. That's what's up. First half down. First half 
awesome. You got yourself some camping gear, and here's the best part. You beat your older twin sister, and that's pretty good, because you got bragging rights for a while on that one. And it was on TV, so everybody knows. The second best thing to get slimed around here, though, trip down the brain drain. Why don't you head on over there, and I'll meet you there. That's all the time we have today. Tune in next time, when we have six new Brainiacs go head to head. Thanks for watching Mayfield, New York! Alright, Jay, let's do it! Here she goes! Woo! And we are out of here! Okay, next we have the game of life. Uh, we're moving on to the hub game shows now. I know Picture Rica should be next, but whatever. We'll cover that next. Uh, first of all, I thank you, Rich, for making this thumbnail for your decks, but, yeah. We have the first in all time in the Game of Life history of the three episodes where both teams get zero points. A run for Congress. Uh, clown college. Clown college. Clown college. Clown college. Clown college. Clown Some people may say it's the same college. thing. <laughs> all right, here we go. <laughs> Fun out there. Nice hot desert day. All right, for 100 life points, Larry, Joey. Clowns are sometimes referred to by what man's name? Larry, 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 Larry. 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 Okay, if you're right, it's a hundred. Oh, I'm sorry, it's Joey, named for Joseph Grimaldi, the first circus clown in the early 1800s. All right, forget it, guys. Let's try to get to 200 life points. Oh, you better hold on. Out. Oh! <laughs> For 200 life points. Big crowds couldn't hear them. The ringmasters got jealous. Clowns once sang and told jokes at circuses, but stopped for what reason? The ringmasters ring got jealous. Yeah, ringmasters, right? No. no. All right, is it the ringmasters got jealous? The big crowds couldn't hear them, we guys. Need to do it, though. All right, let's get you back on the road. Focus. Here we go. We need 300 life points on this one. Whoa! 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 Probably slow down a little bit. Okay, for 300 life points, running a marathon, skydiving. Paul Fernandez set a Guinness World Record for doing what while dressed as a clown? Running marathon. You sure? Running marathon. I'm going to running marathon. I'm going to disagree. I'm sorry. Oh, Michael taking matters into his own hand goes skydiving. Oh, you should have listened to your family on that one. Thank you. Oh, man, guys. Let's try to get you some life points. Oh, you're out of gas. You didn't get any life points on your first adventure, but a lot of ways to make life points coming up in the show, okay? And there we go. Get them out of the Now, you guys remember all the rules I told T. Michael to run for Congress or study astronomy. Study astronomy. Yeah. Yeah. Study, study astronomy. Study astronomy. Let's go for a ride. Yeah. All right, guys, you got a full tank of gas. Oh, and look at this. How about studying astronomy up close and personal in outer space? All right, guys, for 100 life points, dust and ice, rock and fire. If you rode on a comet, you'd be sitting on a ball of what? Rock and fire. Rock and fire. All right, if it's rock and fire, you're on the board with 100 life points. Oh, I'm sorry, you guys. It's dust and ice. All right. All right, let's get you back out there. We're still in space. The game of life frontier. Oh, is that something? All right, guys, let's try to get you 200 life points. One day, one year. How long does it take Earth to complete one revolution around the sun? One day. One day. One day. It takes one day, yeah, one day. One day! One day. All right, if it's one day, we got you 200 life points. Oh, no! The right answer is one year. One day is the time it takes the Earth to rotate around its axis. All right, guys, let's get you back out there. Come on. Still in space, whoa. All right, this question is for 300 life points. Would give you a nice lead over Team Michael. The Big Dipper, the Little Dipper. The North Star is part of what group of stars? Let's go with the Big Dipper. You yeah. want to go with the Big Dipper? Yeah. All right, guys, you're wasting gas. Big Dipper. Big Dipper. Big Dipper. All right, if it's the Big Dipper, you're on the board. Oh, oh we got a zip, zip.
damn tie right now. Let's see if we can get some points for you. Whoa, don't worry. Cannon crashes are covered by your insurance. Oh, you ran out of gas. Come on back in, Team Gabrielle. All right. All right. You didn't get any points. Normally, that would be a bad thing. But today, guess what? You're tied for first place with Team Michael. All right. We've got more adventures to take, so don't go away. The good news is they think we come back. And it's 2600 to 2800. So they do actually come back in this world direction pretty good later on. So now let's talk about the worst stunt. There was technically around two shutout. Actually, yeah, why the hell not? Let's show that. You want to have 50 yard line tickets to the Super Bowl or take a cruise to Alaska? To take Alaska, a cruise, cruise to Alaska. Alaska. All right, here we go. Let's do it, guys. Ice fishing, dog mushing. What is the official state yeah. sport of Alaska? Ice fishing. Ice fishing. Whoa, ice fishing. Watch this. Oh, no. I'm sorry. It was actually dog mushing. That's going to cost you. Here comes the cave. Watch out for that jump. Oh, nice. I'm not coming back to Alaska. Okay, nice. For 400 life points, 49th, 50th. Alaska was admitted to the Union as what number state? 50. Um, the 50. Uh, if it's 50, you got 400 life points. Oh, girls, I'm sorry. It was the 49th state. All right, shake it off. Let's get you back out there. All right. All right. That means you're coming up to your extra gas question. It's worth 600 life points. This could extend your ride. You need this, guys. For 600 life points, the Big Dipper, a polar bear. The Alaska flag features what image on it? What do you think? What do you think? The Big Dipper, a polar bear. Yeah, what do you think? Um, polar bear. All right, for the extra gas and 600 life points. Oh, no. The correct answer was the Big Dipper. All right, girls, come on. Let's get you back out on the road. Here we go. This is for 800. Oh, what are you doing? Get back on the road. Jeez. You need this 800 life points, girls. Oh, you ran out of gas. All right, guys, be careful backing into the studio. Rough ride, guys. Team Naomi, that was a rough one. Don't worry, we still got a long way to go. We have 500 total life points, but Team Erica has 2,800 life points. Next up, we have the only shutout in the final stunt. And it's actually the episode where the one team actually got a perfect score. So that makes it even worse. And right now, Team Aqua has 500 life points. Team Michaela has 4,000 life points. And today on the Game of Life, our families are going down on the bayou. And everybody knows the bayou is filled with frogs. And guess what, families? You get to take some home as pets. <laughs> and here's how it works. Player one has to search through our swamp water and find a frog. Now be careful, there's other creatures in there. They will then hand it off to player two who has to grab it with these tongs and using the tongs, toss it over to player three who has to catch it in the net. For every frog they catch, they get 500 life points. And whoever has the most life points at the end of this adventure is gonna head to our spinner and get a chance to spin to win a rock and roll adventure in London, England. To your swamp, head to the swamp. Here we go. All right, this is gonna be fun, guys. All right, teams, are you ready? Ready. Yeah. You've got 60 seconds. Go. All right, good luck, guys. All right, Dad's got the tongs. He's tossing it to Michaela. We got one for Team Michaela. All right, Aqua, grab that frog. Oh, so close. They're so slippery. Okay, guys, keep it going. Oh, there's two for Team Michaela. Whoa, those frogs are slimy and slippery. There you go, Michaela. Toss it to Mom. Oh, okay, that one's done. Can you find another frog? All right, guys, 30 seconds. Stay behind the line, Michaela. Toss it. Oh, 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 no. Okay. All right. Oh, another good catch. Way to go, Team Michaela. Man, I am green with envy that you guys get to do this challenge. Ten seconds. Dad is an excellent toad tosser. Five, four, three, two, 
One. <laughs> oh, that one doesn't count. Team Offway, come on over here, guys. Team Michaela, get in here. All right. That was fun, right? You guys got a little goopy? Come on, see how it was fun, wasn't it? All right, let's check the scores. Now, you guys came in trailing in the challenge. Unfortunately, that one was after the time expired, so we can't count that one. That means, guess what? Team Michaela, you're today's champ. Congratulations. Great job, Team Aqua. Round of applause for Team Aqua. We have a really cool prize for you guys. Thanks for being on the Game of Life. That means... So I didn't include my painful losses video because we didn't have the footage. So the team has a perfect game and it ends in probably the worst way possible. Freaking weighted ass wheel in the 10. London, England, come on! We can pass the 10, we're good. Oh no, we gotta get past the 10. Get past the 10, come on, come on! Come on, on Spinner, get on. past it! One more, one more, one more! guys oh, i'm sorry you won't get to see the fog in london but you might get to see the fog roll in when you spend a weekend in san francisco we think it'll be surprisingly so i'm actually sure this team's uh, run in the best moments video in the future and finally and finally we have the shout out in the bonus round and Again, thanks, Race, for making the thumbnail. And it was with the shittiest format, too, which makes it even better. Or even worse. This is the famous Game of Life spinner, and it... The Game of Life, and I'm here with today's champs, Team Hannah, who have had a great game so far. Also, this is the only shutout in the bonus round, by the way. And now things are going to get even better. Now, for winning the game, you each get to choose one number on our spinner, and if the spinner lands on any of your numbers, you win a special volcano adventure in Hawaii. Yes, that is so awesome. But first... I'm gonna give you a chance to earn a few more numbers. Now, during the break, we asked you each to make a life decision, and for every time you correctly predict how your family members answered, you'll get another number on our spinner. Yes, we wanna make this as easy as possible. So, Hannah, come on down here. All right, now, you guys remember you went on a dentist adventure. We had a lot of fun on that. Now, Grandma and Allie, I asked Hannah, would she rather go to the dentist or take a final exam? Hmm. What do you think? What would she rather do, Allie? Exam? Dentist. Exam? You think the dentist? Mm. What do you think? I don't know. Let's go for exam. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. You guys okay. said exam. What did Hannah say? Hmm. Oh, she said she'd rather go to the dentist. Oh, oh yeah. Grandma. All right, no extra number there. Let's switch places. Grandma, come on over here. Let's see if we can get one of these extra numbers. Now, ladies, you all went on that roller coaster adventure. You had a blast. Now, girls, I asked Grandma, would she rather ride the roller coaster with the world's longest tunnel or world's biggest drop? Probably the tunnel. I don't yeah. think she'd like the big drop. Yeah. Okay. Okay. We're thinking the tunnel. I'm thinking the tunnel. All right. What did she say? Oh, she said the biggest drop. Oh, no. All right. Grandma, get back over there. Allie, it's up to you to get one more extra number, all right? Now, you guys remember when you had the pancake adventure. That's what won the game, got you here for the final spin to win. All right. For one last chance and an extra number. Hannah and Grandma, I asked Allison, would she rather have French toast or a cheese omelet for breakfast? Ooh, French toast or a cheese omelet? What do you say? Oh, she eats eggs all the time. And French but toast sounds toast. so good. <laughs> this is huge. Um, okay, what do you think? Are you an extra spot on the spinner? What do I don't do? know. What do you want to do? Probably the omelet because it's closer to an egg and cheese burrito. Okay. She was eating. Okay, we're going to go with that. Going with? The omelet. The omelet. omelet. Okay, what did she say? Oh, she said French toast. Okay, that's all right. All right, you guys don't get any extra numbers, but you know what? You get three numbers, let's go to the spinner again. Come on up here with me, come on guys, let's go. We can do it with three, right? You only need one number to win, right? Yes. So I'm gonna get numbers from you. Team Captain Hannah, what number do you want? Mm, eight. Allie, what number do you want? Uh, five. And Grandma? Um, yeah, three. All right, so our numbers are eight, five, and three. <laughs> Hannah, let's give it a spin to win, come on. Yeah.
Get the volcano adventure. I'm so sorry, but That's let's okay. see what you've won. How about that? You guys. I mean, they literally had four freaking duds in a row. How the hell were they supposed to win? Has won a one thousand dollar electronic shopping spree. Yay! How cool is that? Plus the family scooters, right? Uh, next for Picture Rica, we have uh, three things on here. Uh, the first is the only time someone got shut out in the maze craze. And this episode actually features Ashley from Rangers 233, who sucked in her episode too, only got 20 points. How fitting. <laughs> That's great! You dressed your mom up as one of our Picture Rica characters. We dressed her up as Aunt Renee! Bring on Aunt Renee, let's see next. Characters in our maze and bring them here to our penguin. 20 fish points for every character that you do find. You ready to start this thing? Ready. All right, let's take our starting positions. Here we go, Orange Team. We're gonna put 60 seconds on the clock. Good luck, ready, set, go find Space Hiker. Okay, um... Space Hiker. Uh, you see it? Okay, where? Um, you see the Space Hiker? Let your mom know. Tell me, where? Space Hiker. Uh, space Hiker. Space Hiker is what you're looking for, a Space Hiker. That's what Space Hiker looks like. You got 40 seconds left. Space Hiker. A lot of items out there. Where is it? Oh, oh. You see it, let her know. How about the audience? Do you know where Space Hiker is? Space Hiker is what you're looking for. You're at 20 seconds left. 20 seconds left. Space Hiker. Yes, she finally got, but it was after the frickin' buzzer. It took long enough. Oh, so close. Come on down here, you guys. So 130 fish points, so we can't give that one to you, but that's okay, because you guys still had 130 fish points from our first Yay! round. You are right in it. Green team, come on out here. Okay, next, uh, we have the only time a team ever got shut out in Balloon Monsoon. Welcome back to Picture Eka, the fight and fast fight and first game that families love to play. Right now, the orange team is in the lead with 405 fish points. Green team's got 250 fish points. To our picture a balloon field, looking for a balloon that has a picture of an item that would fit into that category. When you find it, grab it, scream picture Ica, then run that balloon all the way up here to the pop zone. That's where you will pop it. Pop as many balloons as you can in 60 seconds. You'll get 50 fish points for the first one you pop, 60 for the second, 70 for the third, so on and so forth. Here's the most important thing, the team with the most fish points at the end of this round will be our winner and get to play for our grand prize. Um, so there have, um, so there has been cases, I think this is pretty much only the green team has happened, where they didn't get enough items to lead and the other team automatically won. So that's not that uncommon. Uh, what is rare is the team getting zero points. And like the last segment, this is the only time in the 60 episodes that are available that this has ever happened. Starting positions! Green team, you guys are trailing. You must find at least 
three balloons out there in order to take the lead. Good luck, green team. The audience is behind you. 60 seconds on the clock. Ready, set, go find something with a headlight. Something with a headlight. A headlight. Something with a headlight. Find something with a headlight. Okay, they got a balloon. How do they get shot out? Well, they waste the well, they waste the last twenty seconds doing it. Pop the freaking thing. Pop it for the points. Pop that balloon. Pop that balloon. You can pop it. Pop that balloon. Pop that balloon. You can do it as well. You can do it. Pop that balloon. We want you to pop it. Pop that balloon. Pop that balloon. Pop that balloon. Pop that balloon. Yeah! <laughs> nice work, buddy. Come on down here, you guys. All right, these guys fought hard. Give it up for your green team. Welcome back to the orange team. Alisa, you were so excited, you went right to your starting position. Guess what? Go right to your starting position. <laughs> Unfortunately, Orange Team, I am sorry. You guys will not be playing the Balloon Monsoon game. I know it's sad, but the good thing is you guys have won the show! That's why! You already won! You don't have to pop any balloons! Come on down here! And finally, we have uh, the the worst Penguin Prize Hunt uh, runs. Uh, there's only two this time. They only managed to get two penguins. And both of them were losses. Okay, technically there was another episode where they managed to get two, but the team actually won because they got incredibly lucky. And anyway, here are both of those runs. It's a getaway to Monterey Bay! You got it, G. The acclaimed Monterey Bay Aquarium features over 550 different species, including sea otters, turtles, penguins, sharks, birds, reptiles, and of course, fish. Stay at the Portola Hotel and Spa just steps away from the historic Fisherman's Wharf and the Monterey Bay. You guys like sea life? Yeah. Very good. Okay, well, you're going to be searching for some sea life. It's time to find those penguins, so do me a favor. Take a look at that screen right there. Here's your 10-second peek at the grid. All right, Orange Team, you know what you're looking for. Good luck. 90 seconds on the clock. Sam, you're heading into the maze first. Ready, set, go find penguins! <laughs> Put to number eight, tag Rebecca. Rebecca, tag Rebecca, you're in now. Rebecca, go. All right, Rebecca's got a penguin. Where are we putting that? Tag mom, tag mom. Mom, you're in. Go ahead, mom. Here we go. 60 seconds left. You've got one minute remaining. Work, Mom. She's putting that number nine. Tag Sam. Sam is in. Sam, you're in. They have placed penguins in three out of the nine grid spaces. They've still got another six to fill. Here comes Sam with the penguin. 35 seconds. Remember, you still have a hold on, hold on. You can't, you can't push that while he's got a penguin. There you go. You can hit the timeout now. Okay, stop in the clock. Here is your time out. Take a look at the correct grid. Ten seconds. You've got 28 seconds. It's Rebecca's turn in the maze. Ready, set, go find penguins! <laughs> Place four in the grid. Here comes Rebecca with a penguin. Where's she gonna put it? All 
right, tag mom. 13 seconds left, mom. 13 seconds. 10, 9. Two. Oh, time is up. Come on out here, mom. You were able to put five penguins into the grid. Let's find out how many of these are correct. Two of them are correct. So four is incorrect, five is incorrect, and six is incorrect. But you still have two penguins into the grid. They're right there, we're hoping. The grand prize could be anywhere. It could be, high, be behind nine or eight. Let's start right here at number nine, because it's closest to me. All right, is the grand prize right here behind number nine? Oh. How quickly we're down to our final penguin. <laughs> okay, this is what we're hoping for, right? Send positive thoughts here to number eight. Is Monterey Bay, trip to the aquarium, fun time at the resort, is it right here behind number eight? Oh, it's not. I am sorry, you guys, but guess what? We still gonna send you home with a one-year subscription to Netflix and a TiVo. Check it out. With the largest rental selection in the country, Netflix delivers your favorite movies and TV shows by mail or stream to your TV through many devices like TiVo. The actual trip to Monterey Bay, number seven. Uh, it's right there behind number seven. But you guys, you were looking for that one. Uh, I'm not going to share the prize for this one because it's the same damn thing. Okay, Come audience on. will be cheering you guys on. Do me a favor right now. Lock your eyes onto the screen because your 10-second peak starts now. First row club. First row club, second row page. You know what you're looking for. 90 seconds on the clock. Good luck, orange team. Chloe, you're going into the maze first. Ready, set, go find penguins! Come on, Donald! Here's your 10 second peek at the correct grid. Okay. No, no, you can't touch it yet. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do it, I'll change She got a little bit ahead of herself, but that's okay. Yeah, we're ready. All right, ready? You got 55 seconds. Go find penguins. Dad's in, dad's in, dad's in. See how many of these are correct. Two of them are correct. Two of them are incorrect. All right. I have to remove number two, and I have to remove number five. Those are okay. incorrect. So you've got two chances to win that Come vacation. On. You still got a couple up there on the board, so think good thoughts. Let's we start will. here at number four. Is that vacation behind number Come four? On. Oh, it's not behind number four. It's all right. Down to your final penguin. That happened fast. That was really quick. Okay. <laughs> but hey, you know what? Stranger things have happened. It only has to be right here. Right. And it can only be in one spot, so... Let's see, is that vacation right here behind number eight? Uh, uh, oh, 
I am so sorry, guys. But we do have some really cool bikes for you guys to take home. Take a look at this. From Giant Bicycles, the world's largest builder of quality bikes and frames, the only three was your prize, and that penguin was located right over there in the armory. It's time to move on to our final show, which is Scrabble Showdown. For our final show, we have Scrabble Showdown. Uh, I'm going to use the same clips that I did last time. Real competition. So we have the Automatic Shell and Babel. So here's just an example of how it plays. Also, rest in peace, Michael. Thank you for, for giving me the episode before I got the lead originally. Rest in peace, Michael. You can pass. Good luck, guys. Babel! Um, I open a can of... Um, Worms, and, and, beans. A, and a balloon gets popped. Uh, pop. It, pop. Yes. Good. Pop. Uh, uh, lemons are so... Sour. Yes. Nice. Um, I sweep with a... Broom. Very good. There we go. Uh, boy, I need so much, I'm really getting fat. And, and chubby. More, more and more fatter. Yes. There we go, last one. Um, I put stuff in the... Uh, to make a, a margarita. Jar. Jar. Glass. Margarita Pop. to mix it up, mix it up, mix Blender. it up. Yes. There we go. So the other team's gonna beat their score. Uh, the thing is, you can't say part the word, and they blow it immediately. Nine seconds as you saw. We're doing the guessing from a whole new set of words, all right? Your opponent's got their five words in 29 seconds as you saw. We're gonna set the clock for that amount and count down. So you have to get your five before we hit zero. Cool? Okay. If you get stuck, you can pass. Don't forget about that. Good luck, ladies. Thank Here are your you. first styles. Okay. Babel. Um, a day, a, a, a week, a week has, it's Monday, Tuesday. Oh, you know, that was an illegal clue because you said the word day, which means you're not able to get to five, which also means the day to Ruben, you win. <laughs> um, that was a side things to come. They won zero games the entire episode, so. Good, good, good job. And next for we have Scrabble Knockout, the worst score, which is two. As you can see by the thumbnail here, it's kind of hard to see. It says the worst game in Knockout. You are looking for things you can find on your arm. Here's your first word. Go. Okay, Elijah, knock out the K. Go knock out the K. Okay. Uh. Knock out the X. All right. Nice. Knock out the E. <laughs> Nope, gotta reset it. Reset it, reset it. All right, knock out the H. <laughs> there we go. Oh, uh, bracelet. Nice, on to the next. Okay, Eli, knock out the Q. Okay, knock out the L. All right, knock out the Z. Bandage. Nice, that's two, hurry, hurry. Okay, Eli, knock, knock out. J. <laughs> Knock out the B. Knock out the O's. The second O. Tattoo. No, nope, gotta reset. The second O. The, the second O. Oh, second O. No, nope, go reset. They reset. Check the first O. The first O. Oh. Time is up. It was actually knocking out the E to make tattoo. Oh. You knew what you were doing. You were so close. Come on back here, Elijah. You guys got two words. Give me a high five. High five. You have excellent enthusiasm. I loved it. Elijah, knock it out. Look at this. High fives around. So you guys got two words in 60 seconds. It is now the next team's turn. Your category is no need to reinvent the wheel, which means you're looking for transportation oh. that doesn't have wheels. <laughs> Chandler, you're going to be doing the knocking out. Head on up there, dude. Let's see how many you guys can figure out. Your opponent's got two words. You need to get three to pick right. up that Blu-ray player. Are you pumped? We are. You're looking for transportation that doesn't have wheels. Okay. Here's your first <laughs> word. Go. Not Chandler, knock out the M. Knock out the J. Knock out the R. Sailboat. Sailboat. Chandler, knock out the V. Knock out the Y. Knock out the C. Balloon. Chandler, knock out the Z. One knock to win. out the Q. Knock out the P. Get it! Right. Job is done. Come here, buddy.
Because that guy was just getting started. <laughs> Kayak was the winner. Nice work, Jaden Sandal. You got um, so I didn't show this last time. Uh, for Scrabble, I'm going to show two clips. Uh, the lowest score to beat, which ironically from the worst episode, we're actually going to get to this in a little bit, because this has the lowest score in Lightning. And we're also going to show the worst score overall. Andy, you're going to be at first, so get in a power position there. Once you make your word, Jackson will then step in and make another. You're going to keep alternating until time is up. Important to remember, there is at least one five-letter word. Longer words are worth more points, but they may take more time to find, all right? Okay. Good luck. 30 seconds on the clock. Here are your letters. Go. Crash. Yes. There we go. Hop in there, Candy. Hurry, hurry. Oh. That was horrible. <laughs> 30 seconds goes by so quick. Let's see. At a point per letter, you guys got seven points. <laughs> Let's see if it holds up. We're going to bring back your competitors, Kelly and Valerie. Come on in. All righty. Hello, ladies. Hello. Welcome back. Thank you. So your opponents, they racked up seven points. All right, you're going to need to beat that in order to win the game. Well, there's at least one five. score of eight to take it away. Kelly, you're going to be up first. Best of luck. 30 seconds on the clock. Here are your letters. Go. Yes, five letter word right there. The yes, and that did it. <laughs> wow. Up high. That was a nice work to back, guys. Good teamwork there. It was great teamwork right the back. Good sharing. That earned you that awesome game table that we were ooing and eyeing at. So I'm in the middle of editing this, and the introduction got cut off, so. Uh, we have the worst score overall in Scrabble Flash. I uh, want to show the Earth Team Force to show what the score to beat was. Try. Yes. Try. Yes. Tad. Nice. Tar. There we go. Tardy. Five letter word. Oh, time is up. Time is up. Uh, great job, though, guys. At a point per letter, you got 17 points. Uh, your opponents, they scored 17 points. Uh, of course, they're worth more, but they make. Got it. Don, you're up first. Good luck. 30 seconds on the clock. Here are your letters. Go. I know, I know. <laughs> I know this is ridiculous. There's a better word. Day. Yes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Ray. Yes. Hurry, hurry. Sorry, time is up. You didn't make it, which means Steven Lexi. Yeah. Uh, not for the worst games of Lightning. We actually have two score, uh, two episodes that are tied. Uh, this was from my GoPro. It's not the best quality, but I mean, it's 720p, so I mean, you do what you have. Is a double. Here are your letters the 20 points. A big flop at the pool. Kristen. Belly. Belly is correct. Next word. Building on the B in belly. Here are your letters. For eight points. Katy Perry rustled up this comedian. Bob. Brand. Brand is correct. Nice work. Building on the D in brand. Here are your letters. For nine points. He's no angel. Kristen. Devil. Devil is correct. Building on the R 
in brand. Here are your letters. For eight points. Outer space rocks. Here. I need someone to ring in. Bob? Meteor. Meteor is correct. Nice work. Building on the A in brand. Here are your letters. It's double for 24 points. Lap it up at dinner. Tristan. Napkin. Napkin is correct. Getting close here. Building on the L in belly. Here are your letters for seven points. The main chow in chow main. Ham. Noodle. Noodle is correct. Building on the O in noodle. Here are your letters for 12 points and a possible win for Tristan and Bob. I can dig it. For the win, Tristan. Shuffle. Shuffle it is. Freaking quickest round ever. And to finish it up, we have uh, the same score, but no bonus style. Let's do this. It's time for Scrabble Lightning. Moms, you can take a step back. All right, Valerie Jackson, good luck to both of you guys. Take a deep breath. Exhale, get focused. Remember, you can't lock in until I finish the clue. As always, the first word is a double. Here are your letters. For 16 points, some video games give you three. Mallory. Lives. Lives is correct. Nice work. <laughs> Building on the L in lives. Here are your letters. For nine points, a real picture book. Candy. Album. Album is correct. Nice work. You're on the board. Building on the S in lives. Here are your letters. For eight points. A boatload of fun. Jackson. Circus. Nope, sorry, Valerie. A boatload of fun. Cruise. Cruise is correct. Nice. <laughs> Building on the U in album. Here are your letters. For nine points. A look-alike. <laughs> Kelly. Double. Double is correct. Nice. <laughs> Building on the D in double. Here are your letters. It's a double for 18 points. Putting two and two together. Jackson. Please, sorry. Valerie, putting two and two together. Adding. Adding is correct, nice. <laughs> Building on the E in double. Here are your letters for eight points. Protected by many superheroes. Candy. Earth. Earth is correct. <laughs> Building on the H in Earth. Here are your letters for 11 points. A gleeful group. Valerie. Chorus. Chorus is indeed correct, nice. <laughs> Building on the R in cruise. Here are your letters. It's a double for 16 points. Plant yourself here. For the win, Kelly. Garden. Garden is correct. So I hope you guys enjoy this compilation. It's probably like two hours long now. Um, for those who are actually still on the premiere, thank you. Um, this video gets decent views. Um, we will remake the best bonus rounds video. Hopefully that won't be two hours long. It will be less of a pain in the neck to sit through. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell if you want more videos. There, guys.